right guys if you are experiencing lower back pain your core is most likely going to be the culprit for that pain in this video i'm going to show you the three exercises that you should be doing to get rid of that pain the mcgill's big three stay tuned hey guys denise here what's going on let's talk a little bit more about mcgill's top three exercises for strong core Three exercises have been proven by the world-renowned Dr. Stuart McGill, who not only allows us to relieve the back pain with these three exercises, but it gives us a stronger abdominal musculature. And you don't have to do sit-ups to get that. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Hit that thumbs up, hit the notification. Let's get going. A few years ago, I myself, I sustained a injury. And when I got checked out, I realized that I had a herniated disc and for me in my therapy and me recovering from that back injury I was actually the McGill's curl up the McGill's side plank all of it was given to me and I'm telling you it's something that I'm really uh, really excited to share with you today because I've experienced what that low back pain could be like and I got relief with these three exercises I'm gonna show you so what are the three, the McGill's big three? We're looking at the curl up, we're gonna look at the side plank, and we're gonna look at the bird dog. But the bird dog is gonna be done with a little more emphasis on holding the position and your hand and feet placement, how that is gonna be. One thing we don't talk about when we're dealing with abdominal musculature, we're dealing with core exercises, is the breathing that goes with it. And it's very important to understand that your core is designed to create stiffness. It's not a muscle that is, you know, you work in like your biceps and you want it to get bigger and stronger and it, it you know, pumps up and you could see it aesthetically. What you really want from your core is to create stability because with that stability from that mus musculature, all those abdominals, um, it, help support the spine so think of your spine like my arm here and the core is actually supporting it from going and but when it's bending the core supports it because the spine is pretty much just vertebrae on top of one another it needs that support from the muscles around it and that's why when we get that lower back pain and we start strengthening for stability we get relief and that's what it's all about today so let me get to it now let's get on to the McGill's big three all right guys so the first one I want to show you is the McGill curl up and um, it's very important when you're dealing with lower back pain the flexion and extension of the spine is going to be probably a, a pain trigger so this curl up is designed to help with the stiffening as I was saying before to create further strength those muscles that transverse abdominus especially that diaphragm that's why the breathing is so important the curl up is definitely going to be your go-to as one of the first things you want to do when you get in that uh, lower back pain all right so this is what it looks like Just get flat on the back all right and um, what you want to do with this one guys is you want to use your hands get it in that little space in that lumbar uh, spine right where you have that little curve there in that lumbar spine and that is going to be your gauge for if you get too much pressure coming down there you know you're not doing it right you want to also learn how to get it's almost like you're taking yourself up you're not going this way you're going up so this is the, the exercise is to create that stiffness that's why the breathing is so important for you when you're breathing out it helps stiffen the core a little bit more and you get that isometric contraction stiffness as you call it right so we're going to start in this position what we want to do is because it's going to put a little pressure on the neck you want to tuck that chin in you want to raise the elbows off the floor off the ground and all you're trying to do take a deep breath in 
and you're gonna lift and when you're lifting you're gonna count to 10 and breathe out slowly in that 10 seconds get this foot down because you don't want to have too much pressure on the pelvis you want to control what's happening above the pelvis so from here get the elbows up chin up then take a deep breath breathe out for 10 seconds and i'm gonna lift up Okay, so now we are going on to the bird dog. Now, there's a little difference. I did a video on the bird dog already, a tutorial on it, and I'll leave a link for, the, for you guys to check that out. But the difference with this is it's going to be our hand and feet placement and the breathing is gonna make that big difference. When you're doing the bird dog, remember have the shoulders stacked, elbows, wrist shoulder all in line and the hips the knees are under the hips make sure you have your neutral spine and also you want to get your core nice and stiff so just try breathing in and out and expelling that air before you start if you're doing this for the first time a nice way to get going is making sure that you have the feet the extension of the leg make sure that you have that movement nice and you know you master that and then you can add the arms to it when you feel comfortable now you'll notice the difference here look at my arms it's also making a fist and it's actually pushing out creating tension as well as my feet it's dorsiflex it's not just um stretched out to the back and every time i extend contralaterally on opposite sides I'm breathing out and you want to hold this position for 10 seconds each time you breathe out and each time you extend those arms and those legs together this is great and it's also working on balancing as well as the stability let's go on to the side plank now right for the side plank um, you want to get in well definitely starting on your side and one of the things you want to make sure that you're not doing is that you're not leaning more to the front or to the back you want to create that nice same line with your head your shoulders and your hips make sure that you stack that shoulder that's bearing the weight make sure the elbow is straight under and what you're doing same thing you want to hold this position for 10 seconds this position can be progressed if you find this is easy and you know you going on and getting better with your side planks you can now get to progress where you're extending the legs like what i'm gonna be doing here and balancing and holding for that 10 seconds now guys i don't know if you notice but the rain is starting to fall and i'm going to have to stop unfortunately but what did you like which one of the mcgill's big three is your favorite see you guys soon and thanks for viewing bye now